Hello my darlings, welcome to the new video, as you see it's speed paint and I want to talk in the background a bit about being an artist and connecting it with illnesses, chronic illnesses or disabilities. Not everyone is healthy and not everyone has the same possibilities. Sometimes illnesses and disabilities affect our life so badly it makes you unable to live like, like healthy people. There are a lot of illnesses and disabilities and they differently affect our life, both physical and mental. Both of them come with their own challenges. So, on the beginning I want to talk a bit about myself and my own illnesses because as someone who suffers from multiple ones I really good know how it looks like to be ill and go through your life so yeah I will tell you a few examples of illness I suffer from so it's Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, fibromyalgia, chronic pain and chronic fatigue borderline, ADHD and autism, psoriatic arthritis and tachycardia. As you see, it's quite a lot and to be honest, it's not everything. I have days when I am unable to literally even get up from bed to brush my teeth. I have days when I am in awful pain or I am so, so exhausted. I can't even think. Because of this, there are days I am unable to go through my day like healthy people. I also have depressive states when I am not able to make myself to do anything. And sometimes it's just that I can't focus. When you suffer from some health issues, sometimes normal job might be impossible for you. Personally, I know my limits. But I also know my dreams and because of this I decided to become artist and youtuber. This allows me to work only when I feel good enough to do anything and I can rest on days when my body decides it's too much for me. It's really important to not push yourself too much but you also need to tell people around you about your struggles because Really often people don't fully understand what it is to have some chronic illness or such. But many people, after you tell them how it actually looks like, will show you a lot of empathy and be more understanding. For example, I was really really sick during whole second half of last year, but I have Patreon. But because people knew I am really sick, and even if I posted really rarely, they still decided to support me because they showed me empathy, they showed me understanding that my life situation, my health got worse and I just need some time. I will tell you a few examples what to do to make it possible to be an artist or a YouTuber while suffering from chronic illnesses or disabilities. For example, for YouTube, it's good to record more than just one video during the day when you are feeling good uh, because if you split it into too many days, you risk that during the day you want to work, you might feel too bad. But if you work a bit more during the day you feel better, you give yourself this, this free day to rest if you really need it. A good idea is to have a laptop or tablet because it allows you to work from your bed. As someone who has days when I am actually bedridden, it's really really big thing because I am unable even to sit on my chair uh, on my PC setup. It's really good to have sketchbook or some notebook and on days you are and feeling too great, just Make some projects or write down ideas about want, what you want to do when you will feel better. The most important thing is to work during the days when you are feeling better and during the days you are feeling bad, just let yourself rest. 
it's also really important to not push yourself too much because you can't change it. So you need to accept your illnesses and learn how to live with them. I think the most important thing is to accept your health and your challenges, but also it's important to tell people around how it looks like. Because healthy people not always understand how it looks like, but if you tell them, it's really, really possible they will understand you. And, for example, won't be pushing you so much, because they will understand better that during some days you are just unable to do it. Yes, your life will be way harder, and it will be harder to reach your goals, have success, but that doesn't mean you don't have any chance. The most important is to not give up, trying to stay strong, because you also really deserve to fulfill your dreams. The most important is to fit your life and work to your need. You shouldn't focus on expectations of other people or how healthy people are doing great and such, because it will be just harder for you. So focus on yourself and believe yourself. So, for example, I will tell you how it looks for me, uh, as example showing you past week. I was feeling really great for most of the week. I only had two days when I was feeling bad. Uh, so during those days I was feeling great. I was drawing a lot, working a lot, spending time on social media and connecting to other people. And during the days I was feeling bad, I just let myself rest, play some The Sims, watch YouTube and just rest. Because from my experience, sometimes you can't make yourself do something because you are too tired, because you are feeling too bad. Also, you need rest. That's the thing that everybody needs to rest and some people just might need a bit more. So in short, how to fit your life and your career to your illnesses. I think the most important thing is to work and rest in cycles. You work when you are feeling good and you rest when you are feeling bad. I know it's really simple idea, but sometimes simple is the best. Also, remember that things don't need to be perfect. You have hard enough in your life. Really show yourself some empathy and understanding because not only other people need to understand you, your challenges, but I think the most important thing is that you yourself understand it and let yourself have breaks on days when you are unable to do things. On days you are feeling worse, and, but you still want to work on something, I think the best idea is to do some simple project, maybe edit some photos, edit some artworks, uh, being active in social media or just plan want to, what you want to do and what are your ideas or maybe some schedule. Just do it on the days you are feeling worse and more complex or hard projects, just do them during the days you are feeling good. Really important is to don't expect yourself to work every day. Um, to be honest, for everyone, working every day is really a bad idea because you will burn yourself out, you will be exhausted, you will start hating what you do. So let yourself rest. But for example, you want to do some daily challenge because they are cool. They are also a good way to grow some following in social media. So I will tell you how I usually do them. I just draw those artworks. Sometimes I have few in advance, for example, for day I'm starting, I have already like four or five. Uh, other thing is to just let yourself skip one or two days. You can always catch up on this. You don't need to like not do certain work because you missed some time. You can do it next day, next week and just post when you're feeling okay. So. That will be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Huge thanks for listening to me rambling about this. Uh, huge thanks to all of my patrons. Huge thanks to 
everyone who commissioned me, for everyone who donated me on coffee, a huge thanks for all the support. Also, really, really huge thanks for everyone who donated to my fundraiser because my medications are expensive. Also, I am unable to get treatment I need uh, because lack of money. So I am super grateful for all the support. A uh, huge thanks to everyone who buys stuff with my artworks on all of these print-on-demand sites. Also, just huge thanks for every like, comment, follow, subscribe, whatever it's called on certain social media. Really, I am super, super grateful. So, thank you a lot. And bye!